In this short video tutorial, I'm going to be walking you through using Foxit PDF Editor to do two different things. One is to add text to a PDF where there is no PDF form, and two, to add your signature. So here I have the NC State PCARD program missing receipt form. Now, this is a great PDF, but I can't just click into it and fill in the information. And so, if I try to add my name, I can't do it. Here's how to make that work. Click on Typewriter from the Home tab. It's gonna take a second, and it's gonna load the Typewriter tool. Once that's done, you're gonna use the cursor to place a single click where you want to begin typing. Again, it'll take a moment, but it'll update a text window that you can use to edit. Here we go, I'm gonna type in my name. Now, that's pretty small and it's not exactly in the spot I want it. I'm going to highlight this text and I'm going to increase this size and I don't want it to be blue. I actually like this just to be black. There we go. Now, how do I move this around? I need to click on the hand and then I can just move it and kind of place it where I want to. And if I think that's a little too big, I can just use these to adjust the text size, which is really nice. So I'm going to go ahead and just adjust it there. But now I'm left with the problem that I need to add a signature. So how do I do that? And it might be tempting to see Foxit eSign and click on that. Foxit eSign is a separate subscription product that NC State does not have. So you don't want to use the Foxit eSign tool. What you want to use is inside of Protect, this thing here that says Fill and Sign. So I'm going to go ahead and click on fill and sign and here you see it's blank and we need to add a signature. This is what it'll look like the first time you go to it. If you see something in here, you've already used it before, but I'm going to click manage signatures and here I can create a signature and I'm going to do that and I'm going to do this in one of several ways. I can type it in, it will create one for me, I can draw it. If I want to, uh, I can import one if I have an image somewhere that I want to import into this to be able to use and kind of stamp. Um, I can paste a screenshot in if I have that, or if I have a signature that's already somewhere online, I can use that. The easiest thing in my opinion is just to use the type, and then I'm just gonna type in my name. Okay, and I can pick my uh, style, so I click change style, and maybe I wanna use something that looks a little bit Let's do something that looks a little more like my handwriting. I don't have great handwriting. Maybe that's what I'll pick. Okay, perfect. I have that. Now I can look at my options. This is going to convert it into black and white. It can discard the signature when the program closes. You can even require a password to use a signature, which is useful if you're on a shared computer, right? So in this case, I'm going to just click OK. And now I have a signature that I can use. I'm going to click Close. And now notice that I have this following my cursor around. All I have to do is click wherever I want to put it. In the future, when I come into this application, if I want to put my signature somewhere else, I can click on it. And once again, I can just click it and drag it and then click it down where I want it to go. There we go. So there we go. So that's how you add text to a PDF document that doesn't already have a form ready for accepting text and how you can manage your signature using the fill and sign tool Remember, you don't want to use Foxit eSign. You want to use Fill and Sign, which the first time you go to use it, you're going to find in the Protect tab. I hope that helps, and looking forward to seeing all the great things you do with the Foxit PDF Editor.